Hi, my name is Xun Wei, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Tektronix. Today I'll be introducing a new feature on Tektronix MSO5 and 6 series oscilloscope called Spectrum View. Before I begin, what I have here is our 8-channel AWG5208 arbitrary waveform generator that will provide 8 different signals to the MSO58 scope. Let us take a look at the waveform generator. The following are the 8 different signals I created for this demonstration. Our AWG has many plugins that allows for a wide variety of waveform generation. For this demo, I use the RF radar plugin to generate pulse signals. The frequencies range from 1 to 1.35 GHz with a variety of different modulation schemes. We have narrow to wide LFM pulses, CW pulses, chirps, and multi-step frequency modulation pulses, all outputting at 5 giga samples per second. Now looking at the scope, we see one of our signals on channel 1. Let's adjust the horizontal resolution to see the pulse. To keep the signal in place, I'm using edge trigger hold off. Let me show you how easy it is to set up spectrum view. To do so, double click on the channel badge to the lower left, and under spectrum view, enable display. Now you see the frequency domain on the top, along with your time domain trace on the bottom. And under this menu, you can change your spectrum trace settings, for example, like max hold off. On the bottom is your spectrum view badge. This is where you can change your center frequency, span, window filters, and RBW. For center frequency, each channel can have its own unique frequency setting. In my case, I currently have each channel set to the signal frequencies provided by the waveform generator. You also have the ability to lock all channels to the same frequency. Let's rearrange the windows. Back to the spectrum badge, Let's take a look at span. Currently for this MSO5, our max span is 312.5 MHz. Under the window filters, these are the different types that are available. To calculate the length of one FFT, or spectrum time, you take the window factor and multiply by the inverse of RBW. On the Time Domain Waveform View window, you will see a colored box to the bottom. This is your RF Spectrum Time Analysis window. You can see the width of the box changing as we adjust RBW. You can move this window around to analyze the specific pulse of interest and have the spectrum trace time correlated. This makes it very easy to observe how frequency domain events changes over time. Another key feature is the ability to have separate RF spectrum time analysis for each channel. To show this, let me enable channel 2. At the moment, you can see we have spectrum time locked to all channels, and as I drag the box, they move together. Let's go back to the badge and unlock this. Now each channel can have independent spectrum time analysis. This gives you so much flexibility and an advantage to look at any signals of interest at any given time. Now let's make it even more interesting. Let's enable the rest of the channels and show you that we can do the same procedures on all 8 channels independently. Now that all channels are present, let's move the RF Spectrum time box to analyze each pulse of interest. On the left, you can see the spectrum traces updating as I move the box. Now you can see all 8 of the waveforms. And another useful feature is you can stop the oscilloscope, move the spectrum time box, and still have it update the spectrum trace. You can see the 5-step FM waveform as I move the box across the pulse. And the 250 MHz wide LFM signal. Now let's go back and run the oscilloscope. 
As you can see, we currently have all 8 spectrum traces stacked together. But another useful feature is you have the option to overlay them together. Now you have the ability to compare the different spectrum traces and take measurements. It's great that you can visually see the different characteristics of each signal, like the amplitude, width, and shape. You can enable cursors and have a variety of ways to compare each signal. Under this menu, you can adjust the cursor relationship between each channel. As you saw from this demo, Spectrum View allows you to easily capture simultaneous time and frequency domain views on multiple channels. Whether you're doing system level debug, timing analysis for mixed domain designs, or finding signal interference, Spectrum View gives you an innovative solution to accomplish your task. Keep a lookout for more in-depth Spectrum View videos in the future. Thank you for watching.